Welcome back to The Ed Show. A private prison company with a horrific past has secured naming rights to a college football stadium. If you care about good government and fairness, this story should outrage you. Uh, Florida Atlantic University's new 30,000-seat football stadium will be named after the GEO Group. The company is a private prison group. Their business model, very simple, put people in prison and make money. And with 59 prisons and over 60,000 beds in the United States, they're doing quite well. The latest government data available shows that the private prison population in the United States grew 37 percent between 2002 and 2009. And not surprisingly, so did GEO's group's revenue. In 2002, GEO Group made $517 million in revenue. By 2010, the number had jumped to $1.2 billion. It's important to point out, private prisons are funded through government contracts. They profit off the taxpayer and have a disturbing relationship with politicians. According to the Justice Policy Center, private prisons are, quote, working to make money through harsh policies and longer sentences. Their goal is more prisoners for profit. They accomplish this through lobbying, campaign contributions, and relationships with policymakers. In fact, from 2003 to 2010, GEO contributed $2.4 million to local campaigns. They also had an army of 63 lobbyists. This is a news report from a GEO jail in Mississippi. In March, the parents of some Walnut Grove inmates and former inmates testified in federal court about severe abuse their children suffered. He had a lot of lacerations on his face and hands and arm. He had uh, stab wounds. Michael McIntosh says two years ago, his then 19-year-old son was hurt in a riot at Walnut Grove. Fractured nose, fractured teeth. The Department of Justice released a report saying GEO employees and some older inmates mentally, physically, and sexually abused younger inmates at the prison. The judge described the prison as a cesspool of unconstitutional and inhumane conditions. The company got kicked out of Mississippi, but they are still operating a very profitable business in the state of Florida. Florida Atlantic's president said her school is proud to partner with GEO Group. The American Civil Liberties Union is calling out the university. They are asking people to block the naming by signing a petition linked at ACLU.org.